With Jackson's first show coming up, I thought it would be really fun to make him a new show brow band and film it to show you guys how I make it. So I use some scissors, this heavy duty plastic. I also use some kitchen scissors, which I use to cut the plastic. I have a marker, a little stencil for the flag and a lighter to seal the ends of the ribbon. I have about six meters of each ribbon, some satin ribbon, and also some velvet ribbon. The velvet ribbon's a little bit expensive, so I don't get as much of it. I have some electrical tape, a ruler with a square edge. I have this elastic cord, needle and thread, Gorilla Glue, hot glue gun and hot glue sticks. I have this belt, which I only actually paid a couple of dollars for at the charity shop. Some sparkly jewellery, some double sided carpet tape, some regular tape and a blank brow band that fits Jackson, which I'm going to use to measure the new brow band from. So first thing I have to do is cut off the buckle from this belt. So now that the buckle's cut off, I can use the original brow band to measure how big I'm going to make my new brow band. And then I can glue it down. Once it's glued, I also wrap some electrical tape around the top to make sure that it doesn't move. So now I'm starting with my braiding. I am doing a simple shark's tooth braid with the ribbon. I have two ribbons tied together and it's pretty simple. It's just over under over under to make a sort of shark's tooth design. It's more complicated than it looks. It's actually really easy to do once you get the hang of it. You can pretty much just do it while you're watching TV and you don't even have to watch what you're doing. So I really like to do this first, even though my design, I'm not really going to see the final uh, shark's teeth, but I, it gives it a little bit more structure so that I can actually put my velvet ribbon over the top. So eventually I'm going to have a velvet layer and then the jewellery over the top to make it sort of blingy and pretty. So my first step is to sew down the velvet as a base for the sparkly jewellery. So I have to make sure that my stitches are pretty small so I just try and catch the edge and secure it into the um, shark's tooth ribbon underneath. You also have to make sure that you do um, think about how it's going to sit on the horse's head. So I don't sew it down flat, I sew it on a little bit of a curve so that it will sit nicely on his head. So here it is, you can see my stitches are pretty good. See how it buckles when it's flat, but um, when it's bent, like it will be on his head, it sits quite nicely. So I actually had to join two pieces of this jewellery together. So I sewed down the short end first. I was going to use the clear elastic, but I actually think it looked better in the end just with the normal thread. So I just stitched it down the same as I did with the velvet. So now I'm going on to make the um, sides of the brow band and I really like the carnation flower style of rosette. So here I am just starting it off. I do a little pleat in the ribbon and I stitch it down and then I repeat that many 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 more times. And again, once you're sort of used to doing this, it's something that you can really do without thinking. And I tend to watch a movie 
while I'm making brow bands and it takes no time at all. It kind of looks labour intensive but once you're used to doing it, it's very, very quick. So after a while I end up with this long chain which I then turn in on itself to create sort of like a flower. It, each little pleat becomes like a petal and I stitch it in like a spiral kind of direction around itself and in the end it looks like a pretty carnation flower. I actually found that I had some more diamante rings which I decided to add to the sides of the brow band because I thought it would look really nice if it was quite sparkly and pretty. So there are my flowers for the centre. Then I just cut out some wool to back the sides with so I have something I can glue them onto and I started with the outer layer of the maroon colour. So it's the same process for the outer layer. I just pleat the ribbon and stitch each fold down and continue until I have a little kind of ringlet of ribbon. So when it is long enough, I snip off the end and join the two edges together to turn it into a circle. And once I've done all my layers, I start to assemble it from the outside in. So once I've finished my sides, I secure the ribbon at the back of the brow band. I just glue one side down and then I stitch the other side up so it's really secure and it's not going to come undone. They are quite fragile, they're only some, sort of something that I use at shows, they're not for everyday use, um, they're more like a piece of art than a piece of tack. So I do take good care of them, I always keep them covered, I always take them off when I'm finished at a show. So now I'm doing the edges, the little flags at the bottom. I've just got a stencil and some carpet tape. So I cut my plastic out from the stencil and I covered them in ribbon. Now is time to glue it all together and you will get to see what it finally looks like. I always love this bit because it just looks so beautiful when it's all put together. So it does take quite a lot of gluing. I try to make it as secure as I can. So here it is all finished. I think it looks really lovely. I'm really happy with it. Can't wait to see it on Jackson. Thanks for watching my video on how I make my show brow bands.